Hi guys, it's Chloe and this is video two of the Air Source Heat Pump Diary. Very exciting, we are preparing for my heat loss survey. So that I believe is going to take place tomorrow um, and we are going to be filming that. So you're going to get a real insight into what actually happens on a heat loss survey and what, what we take from that heat loss survey in order to make the best decision on what systems we recommend for you or customers. Now, We'll be looking at the room sizes, we'll be looking at your insulation, we'll be looking at the window sizes um, and a lot more. So that's going to be a really, really informative video that I think for anybody who's considering an air source heat pump or anybody who's even had a previous heat loss survey. One of the things I think you find is a lot of companies within this industry will have their own methods, but there is only one way to do it and that is to do it right, which I am telling you my team do. And I think it's a great video to showcase that. So I'd really keep your eye out for it. But again, back to my installation. So when that takes place, I will have more information with you guys about the size of the pump and my system as a whole. One thing I'm really quite excited about is to see where it's going to be located. With my property having a conservatory that I have inserted a picture of, we are very limited to where we can put it with regards to the back of the property. Um, I also have a lean-to, which I'm going to discuss with the team when they're here. So I'll go into more detail on that following the heat loss survey. But I think my my understanding is that, from my knowledge, it's possibly going to have to be situated on an external wall. So that's going to be really interesting to see what comes of that and, and the sort of how we get that and, and if there is any you know aspects of that that we need to tell you about that you can obviously make the informed decision when it comes to your own installation. So really excited to share that with you. Um, Again, I know I've just mentioned about the conservatory, but one of the things I'm going to be discussing with them at the heat loss, and I've already spoke to my team on it, not in detail, as I say, I want to keep everything with yourselves transparent, and I want to show you that regarding the heat loss, these are the questions I posed as a customer. But in preparation for that, from my own knowledge, I am aware of, within my conservatory, there is a lot of windows. Obviously, it's a conservatory. so. To me, that means there's going to be a lot of heat escaping through them windows. And that's something we need to consider when carrying out an air source heat pump installation, because you don't want to be spending money to heat your property and then having it escaping through them conservatory. So that's going to be what we're looking into. And my understanding is that I'm possibly going to need a new radiator fitting. So it will be really interesting to see if my understanding is correct and then relay that information back to you. So that's going to be coming up soon. Another aspect is I do have a log burner, which I have popped a picture in here. And I'm curious as to whether that will be a sufficient enough heat source within the conservatory or whether, like I say, I'm going to be required to have the radiator. So there's two aspects of the conservatory that we're going to be discussing. So keep tuned if you, like me, have either of them, uh, the conservatory or the log burner because we're going to be we're going to be delving into that in, in the future videos another um i wouldn't say concern of mine but something else that i'm going to be discussing and i'm going to be relaying back to yourselves is radiators upstairs in my property i have the double compact radiators the old faithful shall we say um however downstairs when i purchased the property i did fit designer radiators for aesthetic reasons they look great they do heat up but they do take longer to do so and if you're like me, who's a mother, um, I have got a son, I do clean uniforms, I do do washing, and I do like to hang my washing on the radiators, which I've not been able to do so. One of the portrait, two of the horizontal. I'm unsure of how they're going to perform with regards to a heat pump. There are certain rules and regulations to the performance of your radiator when storing a heat pump to ensure that you have sufficient heat sources in each individual room. I'm hoping I can get a little bit of footage to share with you on the video diary from the heat loss, although we will be doing a separate video, as I've said. I'd like to delve into whether I'm going to need them radiators changing to the double compact radiators um, that I have upstairs within the property. So that'd be really interesting to see because I know a lot of people, especially people purchasing properties, do like to switch out the radiators and it was something I wanted to consider myself. So that's going to be coming up. Probably in the next video, I'm presuming the next video I share with you guys is going to be following the heat loss survey. So there'll be so much more information. Now, I have spoke with the team um, and as a company, we have really looked all over with regards to the product we're going to sell. And Midia has come up twice. There's, there's several reasons. So you get your 12 year warranty. They offer the My Care plan. The systems are really great. The robust noise level on them systems is fantastic. It's one of the, the quietest in the market. But they're a really, really great, great company as well. The customer service is fantastic. Um, 
there's several reasons why we've gone with Midio. And again, you will see that in another video. I know we've got upcoming in the future, we're going to get a gentleman called Mark Weaver in and he's going to come in and tell us all about the Midia heat pumps. I myself, obviously, we're going with the Midia heat pump, so that's going to be what I'm situating in my property. So I'm going to, again, give you a real insight into how that pump works, how it performs, how I use it. I know we have the apps that you're going to get an insight into, so keep tuned for that coming up soon. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And like I say, any questions that you have with regards to how does the conservatory situation work or anything I've discussed, um, make sure you drop a comment and make sure you subscribe to see more of these videos coming up. I know we're at the first stages of this, but it's going to get more and more informative. You're going to see more of true installation. You're going to see more of a customer perspective. And I think it's going to be a real insight. In fact, I know it's going to be a real insight for you. And the one reason I'm doing this is I put my faith in my team. And I know you will follow in um, these videos. So keep tuned, keep watching, and we will see you soon.